Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. So my most popular video that I have on YouTube, the one with the most views, and it's got like 110,000 views or something like that, is a video that I did on a life and engine and just the basic simple wiring to get it, the bike, the engine to run. And we didn't actually start the engine in that video. We didn't put a carburetor or anything on it. We just did the wiring to get it to run. And it's been a very popular video. But it has also spurred questions on, okay, I've got the bike to run. What does it take? What's the most simplest wiring I can do to get the headlight, to get lights to work? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to fire this engine up. And we're going to put uh, a headlight and tail light on it to show you how that works. Now, so that you know what I've got, uh, I bought an engine from PCC Motor. I bought it on 4-13-2022, so back in April. Uh, I bought the semi-automatic Lifen 125cc. I bought the set which came with an intake manifold, a kickstarter, and a gear shifter, the CDI, the wiring harness, the coil, the carburetor. It did not come with an oil cooler. So basically, everything that you see here in front of you was inside this box, with the exception of a kill switch. They do not give you a kill switch. The uh, wiring harness is, is wired for a kill switch, so I have provided my own. You would need you can pick that up on Amazon for just a couple bucks. So the first thing we're going to do is wire this up just to get it to run. So we're going to do that again. So this is the harness from the engine, obviously. This is the little wiring harness that came in the box with the bike. We're just going to match coloring. So there is a blue and white in both the harness and on the engine. There is a black and a red in both the harness and on the engine. And then there is a solid green on both the engine and the harness. We're not going to worry about the other wires right now. Uh, it comes with a CDI, and the CDI will only plug into one of these plugs on this little wiring harness. So plug that in. It comes with a 12-volt coil. It's got two wires, so it does not need to be grounded. It's, it's being grounded by the, the wire on the coil. So that's these two that you just hook the green to green and the black and gold or black and yellow to black and yellow. And put the, put that on the spark plug. All right, I'm going to go ahead. These two white plugs are both kill switch plugs. They get one, they have different type of plug. So I'm just going to plug my kill switch into that. Turn it to run. I've got a carburetor installed. I've got a little fuel cell. I got a little fuel cell up here. I'm just gonna take a drill and let's see if I can turn the gas on. I'm just gonna take a drill and turn it over. to get one of these engines to fire off and run. A little simple wiring harness and, the, and the, all these pieces, with the exception of that kill button, came in that kit from PCC Motor. Now, what if you wanted to hit, go ahead and have a headlight and a tail light? Uh, I forgot something. I'm going to grab something real quick. Do 
these engines put out some crazy voltage. So to get all of this to work, the one thing you'll need to buy for a lifen with a yellow wire and a white wire is a 12 volt half wave regulator. I bought this one off of Amazon. I don't know if that helps you at all, but that's what I bought off of Amazon. And I got the regulator and I got a short pigtail plug that plugs into it. Now from that point, what I did, okay, I'm gonna move you around here so I can sit down, kind of beside it a little bit. All I did was take some 18 gauge wire. I took, the white one is super simple. It just, I just hooked a, a length. Now you'll have to determine the length for wherever you want to mount this on your bike. And I just pulled a random length, but I just hooked a white wire to the white wire of the regulator. And then I put a male plug so that it will plug into the female plug on the engine. And that's the white wire, pretty simple. The rest of these wires, the green, the yellow, and the red, I, I teed them and each one went from one lead out of the rectifier or the regulator to two leads going to the uh, whatever you're powering, headlight or whatever. So the yellow, I've got male connectors on both of those. One of the yellows is going to go to the yellow of the engine. like that. The other is going to go, if you wanted to hook a switch to your headlight, it would go to your headlight switch. And then from your switch, you would plug your, your headlight in. I'm just going to go directly straight to the headlight and we're going to plug it into the high beam. All right. So that's the yellows. One goes up to the yellow wire on the engine. One goes, went to the headlight. Green is ground. So I've got a female plug. And I there again, it goes from one wire out of the regulator to two wires. I've got a green wire that I'm going to plug into the ground wire on the headlight. The other one, I put an eyelet for a battery, but we're not actually going to use a battery. But we do have to ground that wire. So I'm just going to put an alligator clip on it and then ground it somewhere on the engine, anywhere so it's grounded with the engine. Okay. And then the last wire is the red. And I've done the same thing. I put an eyelet on it so that it could go to a battery to charge a battery. So we're just, we're not even gonna plug that one in. The other one, I put a female so that I could plug into this tail light. And then the ground wire on this tail light will need to be grounded with the rest of our system here. So we're gonna put it in this alligator clip. All right, and that's it. I know this is kind of an ugly mess. I should have organized it better, but Regulator, red wire, one would, would go to a battery. If you, you wouldn't, if you weren't going to use a battery, you wouldn't even need this one. One I put to the tail light. The yellow went up to the engine and one to the headlight. The white went straight to the engine and the green ground, one went to the headlight and one went to the tail light and to the, to the engine itself. So let's fire it up now and see if we have any lights. back on yeah come on
And since they're not powered by the battery, they're powered by the stator. That's why you saw them kind of get brighter as the RPMs picked up and the engine put out a little bit more voltage. But guys, I hope that's as, uh, about as simple as it can get. If you have a, a lifen and you want to wire a headlight and a tail light, and like I said, you could put a switch in between so that you could turn the lights on and off if you wanted to, just run the power to the switch first and then to the headlight or to the tail lights. But hopefully that helps somebody out there. Everybody have a great day. Thanks.